Remember when you created a planet a couple of weeks ago? I saw some really unique ideas like purple oceans or dragons and unicorns or a planet full of oceans or a planet full of volcanoes. Our telescopes aren't good enough right now to see what is on planets outside our solar system, but we can examine the life on Earth to get some ideas. A lot of times in movies, alien planets will just have one type of land, like a desert planet or an ice planet or a jungle planet. But the planet we know of with life, Earth, has lots of different regions with lots of different kinds of life. So maybe other Earth-like planets would have lots of regions with lots of different kinds of life too. We call these different areas biomes. A biome is a type of weather and terrain and the plants and animals that live there. If you play Minecraft, you might have heard the word biomes used there to describe different areas of Minecraft, like a desert biome or a taiga biome or a swamp biome. These are based on biomes that really exist on our Earth, but on Earth they're much more detailed. Here's a map of biomes on Earth. It uses a light tan for desert, different greens for different kinds of forests, yellow and light green for plains or grassy areas, and dark blue for ocean. We can use this key over here to tell what the different colors mean. I want you to look closely at different parts of this map and see what patterns you can see. You might notice that there's not straight lines anywhere on this map. That's because these biomes are shaped by mountains and rivers and coastlines, the land that all the plants and animals live on. The middle of the Earth near the equator is closest to the sun, so it's warm there all year round. That's why near the equator we find lots of rainforests when there's lots of rain, and grasslands where there's not a lot of rain. Near the poles to the north and south are the coldest parts of the Earth, and that's where we find lots of taiga, tundra, and arctic desert. In the areas in between we find grasslands, deserts, and forests. Some things might be different on a planet that's not Earth. For example, what if the planet was a little colder than Earth, so the arctic regions were larger? Or if it was warmer, there might be more rainforests and grasslands and deserts and no arctic areas. For your STEM assignment, we're going to make a map of the different biomes on your planet. You can use the same one that you did a few weeks ago or make a new one. So grab a piece of paper and some crayons or colored pencils and we'll make a map together. Let's start with a circle. Now your planet is not a flat circle, right? It's a sphere or a ball shape. So if we make our map a circle, that only really represents one side of the planet. But that's okay for today. Before we add anything else, let's think about what parts might be white. If there's areas on your planet where it's snowy all the time, they might look white on our map. So I'm going to draw some white at the north and south poles of my planet and leave that blank and that'll be to represent ice. Let's also add some blue oceans. Uh, you might have a lot of ocean on your planet or just a little. So just make sure you have some sort of ocean. Then on the land, let's add some mountains. I'm going to draw mountains with an upside down V. If you want, you can represent how tall the mountains are by how big the V's are. Small V's mean small mountains and big V's mean big tall mountains. If any of your mountains are volcanoes, you can put that in too. Now let's add rivers and lakes. Rivers usually go from high places down to low places. A lot of times they go from mountains down to oceans. So I'm going to draw some rivers that go from my mountains down to the ocean. We can put lakes anywhere where the land is lower than the land around it. I'm going to add a few lakes. Next, let's add forests. If the forest is in a hot part of your planet that gets a lot of rain, it might be a rainforest. If the forest is in a cold or mountainous part of your planet, it might be an evergreen forest. Or if it's really cold, it might even be a taiga forest. You decide what kinds of forests you want to have. We can use different types of green to represent different types of forests. Now, as we're making all these different areas, let's add a key on the side that shows what each color means. Draw a little square of each color you use and next to it, write what that means. So we have different greens for different types of forests. We have white for Arctic and blue for ocean. Last, let's decide where our deserts and grasslands will be. A lot of deserts form next to mountains where the mountains trap the rain and snow so not very much rain gets to the area next to it. I'm going to add in a yellow desert right here and some light green grasslands over here. Let's make sure we add these things to our key. Now we have a detailed map of your planet and its biomes. Take a picture and share it with your class and make sure you save this paper because you're going to need it next week when we talk in more detail about the life that might live in one of the biomes on your planet. I hope you stay safe, have fun, and keep making things.